Okay, well, what have we got here? Uh, this is actually a testament to my state of mind. Um, VP of Financing, uh, Jan, has told me that I can't make any more dulcimers until I've sold some. So um, I've got to do something, otherwise I'll, I'll just go crazy. Um, so I made this, and this is called a symphony. It's the forerunner to the hurdy-gurdy. Um, Middle Ages instrument, 12th century thereabouts. Um, and they're still being used and made, and if anything, there's a resurgence. Um, and it sort of appealed. But before I make a full hurdy-gurdy, if I ever do, I thought I'll make a symphony because it's, it's simpler. Um, the whole design is, in a sense, ridiculous because it's so finickety and needs to be so precise. It, it's like making a Swiss watch out of wood and expecting it to keep accurate time. Um, very difficult. But I, I knew that going in and that was the challenge. Plus, I just, want, I just wanted to do it. So this is a symphony. Uh, inside, uh, there's a, a wheel that um, has got rosin on it. Uh, there's strings. There's two um, chanters, two melody strings. And here I've got two drones. And it's like the bagpipes. You have the, uh, the drones on the bagpipes and you play the melody on the pipe. Um, the same here. And to some degree, um, the same as the dulcimer. The dulcimer has um, melody strings and drone strings, um, which sort of led me towards this. You've got the wheel, which you turn, uh, and that vibrates the strings, and then you've got the, the fingering, which with these keys here, they're called tangents. It's like a mechanical violin. Instead of using a bow, you've got the rosin wheel, and instead of using fingering, you press the tangents. And it's incredibly finickety. I'm by no means there. Um, We'll play this in a minute and it, <laughs> well, we get a sound out of it, but that's about it. And I'm, that's where I am. That's where I've got. Um, I'm pleased to have done it. It's taught me a lot about how these are put together, which was the purpose of the exercise. And whether I go on and make a full-size hurdy-gurdy, I don't know yet. I don't know. But I'm pleased to have done this. I'll keep tweaking it and fiddling around with it um, because I think I can get a good sound out of it. But that isn't today. Um, so there we are. The symphony. Um, and we'll see if we can play it. I'm going to leave that open so I can see what I'm doing. Right, here we go. And bonus points if you could dig out O to Joy amongst that lot. Um, it's not very good, um, <laughs> obviously. A lot to play around with. Um, I, I mean, here I've, I'm using cello strings, which is about the right ones to use, but I broke one and I've replaced it with a bit of um, string trimmer line. Um, it's, it's what I do. A lot of fun. Taught me a lot. I may make a hurdy-gurdy. I really don't know. Uh, we'll see. Um, but there we are.